Colorado is a place where the people are inseparable from the land. People have farmed and ranched here for generations. If you travel the world and say the word Colorado, a vision emerges in people's minds. Got it? And it's usually a vision of the beauty of the natural world. People are moving here at higher rates than ever before. And at the end of the day, we're not adding any more land. There's a finite amount of land. Colorado Springs is the second largest city in Colorado. There are projections that by 2050, Colorado Springs itself is gonna be larger than the city of Denver. The intersection between conservation and public health is so important and it's something we are starting to realize and talk about so much more. And as our community and our society is so much more aware of public health, conservation and outdoor recreation provides the vehicle and the access for a healthy society. The world is changing. We're seeing increased pressure on our public lands. You know, get out on any trail, you're seeing more use. Local food is becoming even more important than it already has been in the past. All of these things are reliant on the land, and we are, as a community, so much more aware of that public health element and what our landscape provides us in terms of mental and physical health. All donations to Palmer are used for on-the-ground conservation work, and that money is what funds our staff. It funds you know, getting people outside, looking at these properties, and then actually doing the work of conserving this land. Palmer Land Conservancy, this is Rebecca. 4,000. And what kind of property is it? What's Number one, we're engaging the community. If people don't care, this work's not going to get done. Number two, there are more technical aspects to our work. So we use what are called conservation easements on the ground to actually physically conserve land um, that's owned by various landowners, public and private. We can also own land directly ourselves as a mechanism for getting this work done. And then we partner with other entities. Tell me, Amber, when were we last out on this property monitoring and how did it go? Great. We were out here last year, so um, the summer of 2019, and we didn't have any major concerns. There's a couple. Of Once a property has already been conserved, we have an obligation every year to go out and make sure that the property is continuing to be conserved. As if we need to go to courts, if we need to somehow defend that property, or if we need to just work on mitigation efforts to bring the property back to its originally conserved state. Both front-end conservation efforts to protect land and back-end conservation efforts to make sure everything we've already invested in maintains its conservation value to our community. Palmer Land Conservancy has a legacy of courageous and committed people who've moved this work forward since 1977. They include past and present board members, staff, donors, partners, all who help empower this work each and every day.
This work ultimately happens because families, landowners, people who love the land come to us wanting to conserve their land forever. When I was little, I was in a tractor uh, with my dad in a car seat. Uh, I grew up working with him and it just stuck with me. Uh, I, love it. I love working with my hands. I, I love seeing things grow and uh, being able just to see the fruit of your labor. Looking to farm at 23, uh, there's a lot of challenges. You don't have a lot of capital or money built up. Uh, that's why I was thankful of being able to work with uh, Palmer. Uh, I don't think I would have had the opportunity if it had not been for them uh, to be able to buy a farm, especially this young. With growth comes responsibility. We all deserve a slice of Colorado. It's a balance at the end of the day between protecting what we love and also making space for people and communities to thrive. We are advocates for open space, local ranches and farms, and awe-inspiring scenic views. And our work is to promote those spaces and make sure we conserve them while we still have time. Land conservation doesn't just happen. You know, these lands do not protect themselves, and Colorado's natural beauty needs to be conserved to ensure that not only generations today, but tomorrow have access to this amazing resource.